no one has ever been able to prove the existence of ghosts, yet they occupy a big part of our culture. There are many spooky stories of unexplained things happening that could back up their existence. These are the top five female ghosts that have been spotted. Number five, the Bell Witch. This tale has been recited for many years by the elders of the town of Adams. The story centers around John Bell Sr., a farmer living with his family in Adams in the 80s. It is told that the family were cursed in 1817 by a witch who was suspected to be a lady named Kate Baggs. The ghost sightings began when the family reported noises in the walls. The curse later grew, with family members being hit and pinched, objects flying and animals acting in unusual ways for no reason. No one was able to detect the witch, yet some people claim to have had conversations with her. Interestingly, it should be noted that only the family members were troubled by the witch, not any outsiders. Even today, people in the family report sightings of the ghost around the farmhouse. Number 4. Tony Jo Henry Annie Beatrice McQuinston, better known as Tony Jo Henry, was born in 1916. Her husband was serving a 50-year murder sentence in Huntsville Prison when Tony Jo and her accomplice Harold Archie Burks devised a plan to break her husband out of jail. To achieve the jailbreak, Tony Jo and Harold planned to rob a bank to secure the necessary money. They hitched a ride with a helpful stranger named Joseph P. Calloway, who was unaware of their plan. They robbed Calloway at gunpoint, tortured him, and then made him undress and say his prayers as they shot him dead. Tony Joe was convicted of murder and sentenced to death. She appealed the penalty twice, but after her third trial, she became the first and only woman in Louisiana to be executed by electric chair. Today she is believed to haunt the parish courthouse where she was imprisoned before death. Workers there have reported hearing her screams, feeling her presence, and sometimes even the smell of her burning hair. Number three, Ghosts of Four Par Restaurant. The present day's Four Par Restaurant in St. Paul was the home of Joseph Librant Four Par, a respectable businessman and dry goods merchant. It is supposed that he hired a maid named Molly in 1880 to take care of the mansion and soon began a love affair with her. The affair ended when Joseph's wife caught them making love. Soon, Molly discovered that she was pregnant, and in the depression, she hung herself from the third floor chandelier and died in the mansion. Joseph then left the house and flew to Europe with his family. Apparently, he returned to the house later and killed himself with a gunshot on the ground floor. Now, the restaurant is considered to be haunted by the ghosts of lovers, Many servers have claimed to see a pretty dark-haired girl roaming the halls. She is also known to be seen at large parties held in the dining room. A photograph captured at a wedding party shows a ghostly hand near the bride, which is believed to be Joseph's hand. Number 2. Resurrection Mary Resurrection Mary is the best-known ghost story in the Chicago area. The story says that Mary spent an evening dancing with her boyfriend at the O. Henry Ballroom. They got into an argument and Mary stormed out. She left the ballroom and started walking up Archer Avenue. She had not travelled a huge distance when she was struck by a hit and run driver who fled the scene, leaving Mary to die. They buried her in Resurrection Cemetery, wearing a beautiful white dancing dress and matching dancing shoes. On the road where Resurrection Cemetery is situated, a beautiful blonde-haired, blue-eyed young woman can sometimes be seen with her thumb in the air, trying to hitch a ride. When a driver approaches her, she asks to be driven to the nearby graveyard. When they reach the cemetery, she vanishes. Number 1. Chloe of Myrtle's Plantation Myrtle's Plantation in Louisiana is considered to be one of the most haunted homes in America. Records count almost 12 ghosts that are permanent residents of the plantation. Of these ghosts, the most famous is Chloe. The story dates back to the 1800s, when the plantation was owned and managed by Judge Clark Woodruff, along with his wife, Sarah Matilda. Chloe was a slave of the Woodruffs at the time. Clark Woodruff was considered to be a womanizer, and Chloe became his mistress. 
However, Chloe was not satisfied with being the judge's mistress, but she disliked being a slave even more. She soon found that Clark was getting tired of her, and afraid of being sent back to the fields, she started eavesdropping on family conversations. On one such day, the judge caught her listening, and in his anger he cut off one of her ears. From then on, she wore a green turban to hide the wound. With the intention of revenge, she baked a birthday cake with some poison in it, and caused the death of Sarah and both of her daughters. Found guilty of murder, Chloe was hung from a tree and then thrown into the river by her fellow slaves. Now, she is usually found roaming within the plantation, wearing a green turban and searching for someone. In addition to this, there is a mirror in the hallway which sometimes shows tiny fingerprints and images of some small children. Perhaps this is the children that Chloe murdered.